Greetings, Cyberdogs! This is Randog coming at you from deep inside a cavern underneath the NPC village in this Let's Play Minecraft 1.3 survival series. In the previous episode, we had come to the NPC village via the NPC railway network and dug a hole down into the earth and we are now underneath the NPC village and we have found a mine shaft, an abandoned mine shaft and um, a huge cave system. And we are just literally harvesting um, this system and picking up the loots and we are also looking desperately for a mob spawner that is not a freaking cave spider spawner because um, we want to make a sweet ass mob trap um, at the NPC village and that will give us more reason to come back to the NPC village via the NPC railway network <sighs> man sweet stuff guys and uh, we also need a whole bunch of iron because we basically spent we used all of our iron to make the NPC railway network, man. Damn, we used a lot of iron for that. Um, so we are basically on a mission just to uh, replenish our supplies. Now, we are also on a mission to find sandstone and a butt ton of sandstone, guys, because before um, episode 100 of this series, we are going to be building the Lakeside Villa. And the Lakeside Villa is something that we've been talking about building for many 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 episodes in fact all the way back i don't know maybe one of you cyber dogs knows when did we first start talking about the lakeside villa it was probably cheese man it was probably around episode hmm, episode seven i guess because that's when we first sort of started to venture out of the mole hole and ever since then we've been talking about the lakeside villa and it you know it is about freaking time that we make the lakeside villa and uh, I'm sure you cyber dogs would, would agree with me on that. And um, why is there snow? Oh, okay. So we are actually pretty high here. Um, the surface is, is actually quite close here. So, um, so you know, we're probably not going to find diamonds at this level, put it that way. Now, in the previous episode, we also already found two chests, which was sweet. Uh, we didn't get anything really sweet out of them, but nonetheless, we found two chests, and hopefully we're going to find some mail. But um, at the moment, I'm slightly lost. Okay, here we are. Now we're back to the mine, the mine shaft. I kind of like lost my way there. Dude, not cool. Not cool. <laughs> Man, it looked like it looked like he caught that arrow. <laughs> Ow. And I better eat some bread before I die. So yeah, so when we get back to the mole hole, the cows would hopefully have bread. And uh, we can harvest their asses. Because we need to get some more steaks up in here, man. I've been eating a vegetarian diet for the last like 10 episodes. And let me tell you, it is not sweet. Vegetarian diet for the loss. I am from South Africa. And in South Africa, we eat meat. And a lot of it. And um, man... If, if I if I can just eat a steak in Minecraft, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna freaking do it. Man, our diamond pickaxe is almost broken. So let us switch a Rooney to our fresh diamond pickaxe, um, which is efficiency four, unbreaking three. Sweet. What's that? What is that? Hmm. There's something weird going on there, man. Let's go exploring down here. Enderman, where are you? Right, let's go check. Let's go and see what the hell that was. I think it's probably just a light glitch on a block, but um, look kind of weird. Yeah, again, here's the here's a torch, man. I'm, I've maybe it is normal. Ooh, ooh, uh oh. You know what that sound is, my peeps? That is the sound of a freaking spider spawner. Um, we're going to see if we can go around the side. Guys, oh, you guys gave me such a sweet-ass hint. Watch this. Bam! This is a, a, a super good way to, to get through um, this crap. And that was a hint from a cyber dog, man. Is that a poisonous spider or is that just a spider? Oh, that's just a spider. You don't scare me, you butt bandit. I did spot some irons here, though. Man, this is another giant, giant, giant mine, uh, abandoned mine system. This is sweet. Um, we definitely should be finding some really cool stuff here, I think. If not another chest, at least a, a spawner of some kind. 
Check, it goes all the way down there. Just want to make sure I'm picking up the rails, though. Hmm. Okay, so this is where we are, right? Let's block this off. No need to come here no more. And let's continue down here. What is down here? Let's do it. Hello? Hello, housekeeping! <laughs> oh, Syndicate, you freaking legend. Um, oh, a chest, a chest, there is a chest. Maybe there is some diamonds. And there is another mineshaft underneath this one. Oh, man. Sweet days. Uh, happy days. Uh, right, let's just block off this water flow. Dear Lord, so far you've given me nothing. And I've given you about 3,000 prayers. So let's be nice and let's give the dog something sweet. Thank you. Kablam. Ooh, tasty. Thank you, Lord, for the gold. That I can dig. Anything down here? Okay, so now we're heading back into... What is that? Is that a chest? Oh, man, there's just so much to explore. So much to explore, so much to collect, so little time. What the hell? Dude, not cool. Whoa. Okay, we're going to explore here because there's obviously something weird going on here. We, we've only ever found one dungeon. What is this? Man, this is weird. It's like a square room. This is, this is dodgy. I'm sensing that maybe we're onto something here. Look at this. Look at this. Anything? Hmm. Guys, listen to how many mobs there are. Listen to how many mobs there are. There is something weird going on here, man. There is definitely something weird going on here. I have not seen this before. I've, not, I've never seen a square like that before. Ow. Dude. What did I tell you about not shooting arrows at my ass? And you too, you bastard. Whoa. Man, my, my diamond sword sucks. <laughs> Why is it taking so many hits to kill these things? Wow. We are full up on, on um, inventory space already. Damn. Oh, hello there. Look. Look at our little friend down there, man. He's There's a freaking mob spawner down there. Stop spawning! Alright, guys. We're going to need to deal with this spider spawner down here because um, this is bad times ahead. Um, how, how can we do this? Why don't we do this, man? Why don't we drop some water... And that'll keep the spiders away from me, right? Oh, man, I think I might have a sweet mission here. And then I can I can snipe them, right? Because, check, they can't get to me. Dude, this, dudes, this is genius. Genius, I tell you. See, the problem is... All right. Yeah, there it is. There is the there is the spawner. There is the spawner. Okay. Holy crap! Back up! Back up, you little bastard! You back! You back up too, you bastard! All right, guys. So it's spawner time. That means that there might be um, another spawner around here somewhere that isn't this stupid butthole of a spider spawn. I think I'm just gonna kill it. Take the XP. You get a ton of XP from killing these things, man. Whoa! Man, that dude is trapped. <laughs> dude, not a good place to be when you're facing a guy with a diamond sword. Take it to the face. Let's just wash this crap away.
What? There we go. That's how you do it. So there's definitely another one in here somewhere. Um, whoa, this is scary, guys. Hello? It's probably above us. There's probably a, a shaft above us. No. Dude. 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 Ah! Pressing the wrong buttons. Take it to the belly. Man, level 20. Sweet. Alright, let's see what's through here. This is looking a little bit suspicious. Didn't. Didn't. Whew, man. This is some nerve-wracking business going on over here, guys. Because I can hear these spiders. And I, whenever we found spider spawners, there's always been more spider spawners. You know what I'm saying? They never come in singles, man. And, you know, like you see spider webs everywhere. And you just, you just know in your soul that there is another one. And that it's probably going to kick your ass. Ow! Haven't we been here already? Man, so this has been a fruitful mission, eh? Jeez, this has been epic, epic, epic mission. Look how much loot we're finding, man. This is... Oh, this is awesome. We're definitely going to come here more often um, when we need to stock up because these caves are just massive. And uh, it just looks like... It looks like they have so much stuff in them. I'm hearing so many mobs too, man. I'm telling you, there's got to be a spawn around here somewhere. Listen to that. Den, den. I don't know why their bones make a, like a, a musical note. Oh man, I can feel it. We're getting close. We are getting close to a spawner. We have to be, man. We have to be getting close to a spawner. Surely. Let's not go too far. Lapis. Let me know in the comment section below if you if you said Lapis at exactly the same time. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Right, let's drop off some of this jazz. And back to the mine shaft we go, man. I'm just... Look, listen to that. Listen to that. Do you hear that stuff? Do you hear, did you hear that? Ooh. This was lucky. Dug straight into a, a, a vein of irons. Thank you, irons. Oh man, guys. So while I'm just doing a bit more searching around here, I just want to talk about a little bit more about the Silkworm Gang, um, which was some a story that I told you guys a few episodes back. Since then, ooh, there's something crazy going on down there. Um, a lot of you guys have told me that you are also, you were uh, in a gang at school or you are currently in a gang at school, man. And it's so awesome to, to uh, read all the, the sweet names that you guys have for your gang. Some of you guys have like the sweetest names, man. And um, yeah, it's so cool to see like that there's so many of you guys that had the same experiences as me um, at school. You know, like you, you also had gangs and um, you had wars with other gangs and man, it's so sweet. And, uh, man, I really enjoyed telling you guys that story and, um, and thinking about it again and um, reading all of your sweet comments and everything, guys. It's so sweet to know eh, that, <laughs> that no matter where you are in the world, like, we all have very similar lives. It's, it's very cool. Right, so I don't know what these spiders were doing here because um, usually where those spiders are is a spawner. So let's just quickly dig in this direction see if we can spot anything. Hmm. And above to... Nope. There ain't nothing there. But, yeah, this is... You can, I can hear the Enderman, but where is his ass? Okay, so this is where we were originally, right? This is where we were originally, yeah. And here is a shaft we haven't yet seen. Pick up them rails. Pick up them rails for the Great Railway. So we don't have to waste the irons. Even though we already have wasted a butt ton of irons. But man, we are getting it all back, which is really awesome.
Sweet. So guys, um, I have a question for you guys because it's this has been bugging me, right? Um, we are approaching episode 100 of this series, right? And um, I want to know, guys, from you guys, if we should be change our texture pack uh, at episode 100. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below, guys. Should we, at episode 100 of this series, change the texture pack? Or are you guys happy with this texture pack? I personally love this texture pack. Um, and it's going to take quite a lot to convince me to, to change it. Because I really love it. But uh, maybe you guys are, are sick of this texture pack and you want a new one. And if that is the case, um, you know, if the majority of you guys are happy for us to change um, the texture pack, then I will happily change it for you guys. Um, so let me know in the comment section below, guys. Do you want us to change? The do you want me to change the texture pack for episode 100 and and onwards, or or are you happy for us to stick? I know a lot of you guys, a, a lot of people don't really like change. You know, changes. If something, you know, my dad always used to tell me, man, and probably your dad's probably also told you guys the same thing. If something, if something ain't broken, don't fix it. You know what I'm saying? And um, I think that. There's no real reason to change the texture pack other than, I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, there isn't really any reason to change the te texture pack. But yeah, let me know, guys, in the comment section below. I'll really appreciate that if you, if you could let me know. Because I don't want to do anything that's going to, you know, that's going to piss off the cyber dogs. Because um, we're in this together, man. Alright, this mineshaft is extending upwards. So let us head in the direction of up. Hey, Bud Bandit. You missed. You missed again. Man. Let's eat a bit. Sweet. Level 22. That is the sweetness. And soon to be level 23. I hear Ender Butt. Where are you, Ender Butt? <laughs> Man, this pickaxe is so ridiculously good. It just hacks through anything. Um, it is insane. Alright, anyway. Any hoozle. Let's continue on our mission, guys. So, um, we I think we've probably explored a good ma uh, majority of this mineshaft. And um, we found... Man, we found three chests. That's pretty good going, I think, for an, for an abandoned mineshaft. Now, what is happening down there? So, this looks like it continues over here. Ouch! Whoa! Man, that was almost... <laughs> I seriously thought that was death. I thought we'd just jump down like a, like a giant cavern, um, as my brother would say, and bit the dust. Nothing up in here. Okay, sweet. Irons, get in my belly. Lava, don't get in my belly. Ooh. Indiana Jones, take it. Boom. Ooh, check what's going on over there, man. That looks awesome over there. Check it that. Let's go check it out. Oh, man. Check it out. This is like a giant freaking huge ass cavern over here are you protecting the diamonds is that why you have come look at them look at them up there what are they protecting man this looks way too regimented for my liking there is something weird going on up in here ow 
Dude, I'm wearing diamond pants now, man. You can't penetrate me with your freaking arrows. Whoa. My computer just lagged out big time. I think this is an abandoned mineshaft up here, right? What is that? Look at that. Seriously, guys, my computer just lagged out. Yes, it is another mineshaft, or possibly the same one. You missed me. Ah! You found another mob spawner. Ow, 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 ow. Man, we have found another ab abandoned mine shaft. This is, I I'm pretty sure it's not the same network. Um, I think this abandoned mine shaft. Oh my god, this is crazy. I can't believe we found another abandoned mine shaft. I mean, this has got to be. There has got to be um, a zombie spawner down here or a dungeon of some kind, man. Seriously, guys, th there's no ways that there isn't. Um. So, we've actually reached the end of this episode, but what I'm going to do is spend the next half an hour or so exploring this new mineshaft, guys. And if I see anything really, really sweet, say I come across a zombie spawner or a chest of some kind, then in the next episode, we are going to be um, going over it. And man, guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, you can let me know by hitting the like button or leaving me a comment in the comment section below, guys. I really appreciate your guys' comments because... Ah, oh, no, 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 no! I'm talking to the cyber dogs, you bot bandit! Back up! Back up! Back up! Eat! Eat! Um, <laughs> I really appreciate your comments, guys, because it helps me make this series as well as I can for you guys. I mean, I'm making this series for you guys. You know, I want you guys to enjoy it as much as possible. I mean, I have a lot of fun making the series, but at the end of the day, um, I make this for you. So... Um, you can help me make this series as as good as I possibly can by helping me um, with hints and tips in the comment section below, guys. And a lot of the stuff that I've learned so far has been from you guys. And, um, you know, I really appreciate you guys uh, interacting with me and taking time out of your life to talk to me or to send me a message um, or anything like that, guys. So please feel free to interact with me, man. And if you want to interact with me even more, why not visit dogcraft.net and um, it is the cyber dog community and I hang out there with the cyber dogs whenever I can um, to, and, and we have like a live chat there and we have forums and everything and you guys can meet other cyber dogs and you can meet me too so uh, if you want to go and check that out go check out freaking dogcraft.net guys and finally don't forget guys if you're looking for a sweet ass rain dog t-shirt I have a store and there's a link in the description box below. Go check it out if you are after some sweet ass Rendog t-shirts. But guys, in the next episode, we're going to be exploring this brand new mine shaft. And hopefully I would have find, found something sweet off camera. And when um, we next return, we will be back in this mine shaft. And then we're going to be heading back to the mole hole to start construction of the lakeside freaking villa, guys. Thank you for watching. This is Rendog saying good freaking bye.